Hello there guys and what's up? Welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. Uh, today we are going to tie a classic pattern called Rat Tag. It's one of my favorite pattern, patterns to tie. It's rather easy to tie and it's um, been like a... I make it a really good success with it in uh, both, yeah, especially lake fishing for for trout here in Iceland and Arctic char as well. So for the tail of the red tag fly, we are using a red wool. You can use kind of any kind of wool for it. I prefer to use this bulky thick wool, which I stole from my mother's knitting kit. She knows about it already, but I get some leftovers and stuff from her sometimes which I use for tying, but like I said, this fly has been uh, remarkably successful for me. The thread we are using, that is a Sample Fly Professional 20 denier. I prefer to use like thin threads for this, but 30 denier or 50 denier will definitely do the job for this fly as well. The rib of the fly, that is a uh, it's a silver wire, or you can also use like a oval French tinsel for it. it. I think it it actually doesn't matter. I prefer to use the wire simply because it's stronger and it increases the fly durability definitely. Uh, the body of the fly we are using is somewhere between four and six strands of pico curl. And the hook I'm using, that's a wet fly from RX number 10. With, yeah, what I like about them are uh, the hooks is like the wet fly ones are relatively uh, with quite wide gap of the hook. So it's like it makes sense in many ways. Uh, first of all, though, we have to snip off that uh, end of the pico curl before we tie that in and we have to leave like we see space there on the front because there is going to be a collar on the fly yep subscribe to the channel for more content coming So we have to leave like um, yeah space in the front of there because we have a hackle or, or collar on the fly. So we'll wrap the wrap the peacock around and catch it with our thread and uh, make like a couple of tight wraps. When I say couple, that usually means four or five, <laughs> but. At least you have to anchor that down with the thread so it's not going to slip anywhere away. And actually those parts of the hurl here, I save them. Sometimes I just save them into a little box and I use the white part of it for legs, nymph legs. So it's like, yeah, in a way it makes sense to, you know, use all the material we have. It's like expensive usually. The flat tying materials are expensive and makes sense to use all what you paid for. Uh, then the wire is around the body and we have to lock that in with, uh, with uh, tight wraps for five, six. Then we'll helicopter the wire off. Um, uh yeah like i said this i had have had really good success with this fly in the summertime the hackle of the fly or the collar uh, that is a brown rooster feather you can use it like a reddish brown or just darker brown it just kind of depends on the on your preferences on the color of the of the legs you can also for this fly you could technically uh, with a partridge or some other feathers you could technically have it with a slim 
with a slim uh, soft hackle that would be an option as well but we are telling it by the by the book today about so I'm gonna keep the brown color of the rooster and for this length of a fly we need hackle, hackle pliers definitely and when we fasten down the the feather it has to come in like we have to start with it in the right place and it must make like the turns so the feather is not going into each other or the fibers are not being trapped trapped under each other and you'll always wrap the, f the feather forward towards to the hook eye and the beat. Yeah, this broke, broke itself, but, uh, but uh, we have to adjust it a little bit before we tie it in like uh, tightly. And I want the, uh, want the hackle of the fly to face backwards. So I take it with my fingers here, but you see there are two couple of fibers there, down there. So I do it like this, loosen it up and grab it again. So I make sure that all the fibers are facing backwards to the bend of the hook. Then we take some wraps on the head of the fly, start to form the head and, and build up like a little bulk there. Then the uh, fibers of the feather shoot automatically uh, face backwards after that. Then we'll do a couple of mid finishes before we before we apply the final touch of the, the final touch on the fly. Uh, the very last step, of course, we'll trim the tail of it, something like this. You can trim it shorter if you like it, just a matter of your own preferences. Uh, I'm using a Solaris Bone Cure for the uh, to seal the head of the fly and uh, just apply a light coat on the knot and everything and that's about it. So I just want to say to you guys, thanks for watching, the fly is ready. Remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video.